Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the little ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling notification bell and you'll be informed every time I upload a video. I keep saying informed, I don't know why I don't just say notified. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. So today, I've had a very, very slow start to the day because um, I was in at six. I was in at six and I didn't leave the yard until quarter past nine. Quarter past nine. First of all, no trailer ready for me. And then I had to clean it, get a trailer washed, and then I'd get a trailer loaded, and I was overweight, and then I'd go back down and get some tipped off. So yeah. So my journey up to this should be on three and a half hours. And I'm gonna have to have to have a break in a minute at Weatherby Services on the A1. Because I can't make it there. That's gonna have a knock-on effect for me. So I'm supposed to be, well, I'm not supposed to be anywhere at any certain time, but usually I get to this job, I tip off, I go to my other job in Sheffield, swap my trailers and then back to the yard. And on a flyer, I can be done in 11 hours, 12 hours. That's a flyer, but that's not gonna to happen today. So I'm gonna get up here. Quarter past 11 now. By the time we get to the service, it's going to be 20 to 12, call it 20 to 1. Then I get there, call it 1 o'clock, quarter past 1. Yeah, call it quarter past 1. If there's any trucks in front of me, I'm screwed. Absolutely screwed. But okay, it's an hour. It's an hour, an hour a trailer. So I would say. First day in, one day, uh, I'll be out tonight. All because there was no trailer ready for me this morning. And that's uh, the be all and end all. Be all and end all. Be and end all. Be all and end all. You get what I'm saying? So we'll see. I'm going to stop off at the services in a minute and uh, have a break how the rest of the day pans out shall we right we're off for weatherby services 25 to 12 
drove out to the other side. However, I was already set up to swing out to reverse back in. So that didn't work out for me. Or else I would have took the front end of this truck off. So I've had to reverse it. So I thought I'd share that with you. I want to see if this man gets near blindside like a pro. Because if he does, I'll be well impressed if he does. I don't even know why you would do that anyway. Yeah, plonker you. Could have just come in beside me. He's an oasis goer. Another contender for the blind side. Come on, son. Let's have it. I hope he just bosses this straight in. So sad I am, I tell you. There's no reason why you shouldn't get it in there. Out of three spaces. Straight in like a pro. Kick. This man's kicking off because that minibus has just parked in his spot. <laughs> uh, they're, all, they're all jumping out for a slash. Do you want to know why truck drivers are fat? Getting fat. Uh, because the wives buy things like this and you just take them to work, save cutting them, you just get them like that. And it eats them whole. Daily. Move out of the way. Right, that is it. It's tea time. What's for tea, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you what's for tea. Cooker. What the hell's going on? Piece of shit. Who's got one of these camping stoves and who thinks the proper very much gas in there? Proper shizer. What am I doing wrong? Ah, that's what I think. And there we go. Oof. Health and safety. Safety first, always. Beef broth. That's what we're on today. Bit of bit of beef broth, mate. In there. Wowzer. That got up quick. I'll take it off in a minute, actually. Ooh. I need to turn him down. Right down. What does everyone use for cooking when they're out and about?
what's the uh, the go the go to method? My go to methods. My dad's cut camping stove that I, I acquired one day and never returned. Because my dad don't do no cooking when he's out. I know it's hardly cooking, but at least it's a warm meal, isn't it? I do want, when I get my new truck, whenever that may be, I'm not going to bother with this one, to go and get an inverter set up and get a microwave. Can't remember who it was now that told me once you go away, once you've got a microwave in your truck, you'll never go back. You'll never be without. Which I can agree. It's easy, isn't it? Chuck all your stuff in your fridge. Bang, straight in the microwave. Microwave meals and that. Lovely. But yeah, I use a little camping stove. And I make sure that I'm clear away from everything. And it's on top of my fridge. With no f flammables around it. Because they're a bit sketchy, to be honest, uh, camping stoves. If I'm honest with you. I've got to be careful of them. So yeah, only, uh, I haven't really got much footage today. Much footage at all, to be honest with you. Because I haven't really felt it. I had a bad start to the day. And now, <laughs> feel sorry for me. If you don't feel sorry for me, you're going to the devil. You're going to hell. <laughs> no. Like you say. About me beef broth. Bed's ready to go. We have an early night tonight. Get some beauty sleep. What a day. I'm out tonight. So after me leaving the yard at three hours late this morning and going getting tipped, uh, I didn't leave didn't leave up there till after three o'clock, quarter past twenty past three, something like that. An hour and a half to my next job. Didn't leave there till after six o'clock. So forty minutes away from the yard now. If I was to get back, it'd be eight o'clock. By the time I'd fueled up and whatever, be leaving the yard at half eight, getting home at nine o'clock. So about half seven getting back to the yard at like half seven is me cut off really i want to be home latest by half seven at night which any any time after that it's just ridiculous no point in going home so i'm out tonight and i'm out tomorrow night i wasn't supposed to be out tomorrow night uh it, sorry tonight so that's why they've planned me for a night out tomorrow so it looks like I've got two in a row. However, Mr. Hazel picks my kids up on a Monday. So my dad picks the kids up on a Monday. Um, so my missus has sorted me some stuff out to uh, keep me going for a couple of days. Extra pants and socks and stuff and food, more food. So yeah, only a short video today. But... Uh, if you like it, if you like my videos, then uh, subscribe. Because my subscribers are going up and my daughter says I'm going to get 4 million. 4 billion subs. So, um, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, or sling your rook, mate. And you can tell I'm tired. Look at my eye. Jesus Christ. See that then? Oh, you guys. My eye's gone. I get like a droopy eye. See you later, guys.